I'm actually so exhausted. <gasps> Why are you awake? It's Bop Bop. Bop Bop fooled me. I thought he was sleeping. I put him down and then I look over and who's smiling at me, right Bop Bop? Did you know you're being recorded? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so today's just a day of rest. Like I have things to do, but I'm like, if I try to get everything done that I want to do, I won't be alive to enjoy the things. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna kill myself. I'm gonna actually rest. I'm just remembering when I had Naomi and Jordan back in the day. When I had them, I had nothing to do. And so that time felt so easy. I had nothing to do. I could just breastfeed, watch YouTube all day, you know, clean the house. I didn't have to go anywhere or do a ton. And at the time, I had my parents, I had Naomi's grandparents, you know? So it was so much easier. And so I don't think it's just that I'm older, which is what makes it feel more difficult this time around. I just feel because I'm working still, like I'm still trying to be active on YouTube, social media, and I also have Crazy Burger, right? So I don't exactly have a maternity leave you know what I mean? And I don't want to take another extended hiatus on YouTube because the algorithm, like once you're gone, it takes a while to pick back up and that's if you can even pick back up. So I kind of want to maintain my presence, but I'm tired. I'm tired. Right, Bunky Junkie? We're tired. Well, I'm tired. I don't know, you, you well rested. So I'm just actually going to plan my week. Okay, so also I have a horrible time falling asleep. Like I can't do it. I suck at falling asleep. Like I envy people who can just lie down, close their eyes and boom, they asleep. So anyway, I'm planning my week. I have so many things that I want to do. So for the shop, I want to do the um, oxtail mac and cheese. Okay, so we're going to add that to the menu. So tomorrow I have to actually make it and then I got to do pictures and stuff like that and you know advertising I guess so that people know it's available and then we're also doing an oxtail burger which I also got to construct tomorrow what else oh my goodness I was telling you guys about my arthritis right and I was telling you that it affects your teeth somehow right so I wanted to know exactly how the two are related. How does, how is arthritis connected to your teeth, right? So I thought maybe the arthritis, you know, affects something in your tooth, but it's actually the other way around. Apparently there have been studies that have found a link to diseases and your teeth and your health, right? So essentially, dental issues can cause diseases. Isn't that crazy? So I went down like this whole rabbit hole of information about arthritis and other inflammatory diseases and your teeth. And basically this lady was saying she had her root canal removed and since she's had it removed, her arthritis went away. Now, this is what I'm getting to. I have had a rotten tooth. It's actually completely like not good. 
I've had a decaying tooth in my mouth for like a year and a half. I've been in denial about taking it out and it hasn't been bothering me and it doesn't like, sometimes decaying teeth have a smell. It doesn't have a smell. So it just hasn't been like a top priority to take the tooth out. So I need to take it out, but I couldn't take it out because I was pregnant. So now I'm not pregnant anymore. I can take it out. I just gotta make the appointment to actually take it out. But I'm wondering now if my tooth is actually poisoning me. Like the rotten tooth is, is poisoning me. So the science behind this type of stuff too is that even though when you get a root canal, they dig out all the pulp and um, remove all the veins or whatever is in your tooth, even though they clean it, it's not 100% clean. And so there are these bacteria that don't need oxygen that are living in your tooth just forever. Like your tooth is rotten and decay. It's a dead tooth, it's a dead body part in your jaw, in your mouth, in your body, and it's rotten. You just can't tell because it doesn't hurt anymore because you can't feel the nerve endings and you can't smell it because they've capped it but it's like an infested breeding ground of bacteria so essentially there is a dead body part in your body and it's and it's i guess going out throughout the rest of your body so that is the science behind it so um what i would love to do is get a naturopath or homeopathic dentist who knows how to extract teeth in a particular way and maybe I would do an implant so apparently implants are better than doing a root canal um yeah they're more sanitary or um what's the word um I don't know the word but yeah so you can I can do that if I want to have a tooth there um I have I think I think I have two root canals in my mouth and now I feel like I want to take them out, but it's like if I take them out, I need to replace those teeth. So I would need to be prepared to do a dental install, like a uh, 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 installation, <laughs> which costs money. So I wouldn't do that now, but I, I'm actually seriously considering doing that. And if I do do it, I would probably do it in Toronto. I don't think they have that here in Ghana. I don't think they have like a homeopath, naturopathic dentist here. I don't think so. So that's something I would do in Toronto for sure. But yeah, the more you know. Also, they said it's been connected. Your teeth have been connected to heart disease and heart attacks, right? So people who've had root canals and other certain procedures have had a more likelihood of having these heart conditions. Crazy, right? Crazy. So I'm a believer in all that. So hopefully um, once I get this tooth taken out, maybe I'll actually feel a difference in my body. Yeah. So that is all I want to tell you. So that came up. I have to actually make the appointment to get my tooth extracted. I think I'll end up doing it this week. I'm also doing a colonic this week. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's like an enema-ish. So, um, yeah, just Google it. I'm not even going to describe it to you. Just Google it. Papa, what are you doing? Hmm? What have you been doing over there? Hmm? Huh, Papa? Say hi. Yeah, so I'm getting that done on a Wednesday. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it. I mean, I have, I, I have more to do. I do. But, uh, oh, I'm going to make pizza? Really? I didn't know that. So Jordan wants pizza, so we're gonna make our own pizza. Also, I wanna say that I've been so proud of myself. I haven't purchased dinner, food, or lunch. I haven't purchased any outside food in like over 30 days. That's crazy. I haven't bought any outside food. Everything has been cooked at home. And even today, like how I'm so desperately tired, I'm so happy I did these freezer meals. I have them in the freezer. Jordan can just take it out, put it in the pressure cooker, turn it on for whatever, 15, 20 minutes, and you have dinner. Thank God, that was a really good choice I made to do those dinners. But I've saved a ton of money. I've saved a ton of money, and you know how I feel about savings? Ow. 
Okay, the tooth is hurting now though. That is why I'm getting it taken out this week. It is starting to hurt again. Yeah, ow. Anyways, that is enough chit chatting. Um, I want to continue to lie down because I'm pooped. I want to take out my chicken out the freezer so I can cook it in a couple hours. And yeah, so we're going to see you, okay? Love you, bye bye. Oh, also, <laughs> yes, I moved my room around. My, my bed was against the um, window. My bed was against the window, but I didn't like that because I couldn't get the light. I couldn't use the light like when I'm filming because it'd be behind me. So I just kind of moved this whole thing this other way. Also, my headboard, it's ghetto. So basically, this is my headboard, but for some reason, it's peeling, like it's peeling off. It's literally peeling. So at the moment, I have it covered with a sheet because I am going to reupholster it. So I need to buy fabric, take some measurements, and just make a, I'm gonna make like a pillowcase vibe. So I'm just gonna pull the upholster thing right over it and it's just gonna fit on it. So for now, it's just kind of ugly with this like blanket. So don't watch that. I'm coming to be aesthetically pleasing very soon, okay? But just give me a chance, you guys. Give me a chance. <laughs> All right, now I'm done. I'm done. How are you? How are you? Uh, I know what? Yeah. Yes. Huh? Mm. Mm. Hey. 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 Yes. What are you saying? Yes. No. Yes. Who's that looking at you? Who's that? Happy day, you guys. So it's the next day. I am going to be doing my oxtail today. So I'm actually waiting for this cheese, this kind of special cheese that we're going to use for the oxtail burger. And it's also going to have coleslaw and plantain. Yum. So that is what I'm doing so far for today also my friend is gonna come over and visit me right that that we have a visitor coming nom, 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 nom. yeah so that's pretty much what's going on okay so i called the dentist today and i can get an appointment for tomorrow that seems really fast i haven't had any time to process this so um am i prepared for this though I kind of feel like I want to be down and out. I mean, I have to do it no matter what, but do I want to be down and out this week? I don't know. I'm having second. No, I have to. I have to just pull it out because it could be interrupting the rest of my body. And I think obviously the sooner I get it over with, the better, you know? And it is starting to hurt. I actually forgot. It hurts on and off. So it's not hurting now, so I'm thinking ah, I can live with it, but sometimes it actually does hurt. So instead of waiting for it to be paining me, I might as well just get this over with. I have that and I have like two fillings. A few of my teeth are just breaking right off. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. The only thing that I hate is taking the antibiotics. I really don't wanna take the antibiotics. Obviously, I'm breastfeeding, so I don't even want to breastfeed him antibiotics for a whole week. And I'm wondering if there's like a natural way around the whole antibiotic thing. You know what I mean? I wonder if there's something else I can take so I don't have to be on them for like a week. Yeah. Anyway, so um, once the cheese gets here, we'll head to the kitchen and start making this burger. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. So, I got my cheese. I made my oxtail. So, I'm not making a full sandwich because I don't want to eat a whole sandwich. 
I made two variations of the coleslaw. So I did the coleslaw with mayo, and then I did the one without mayo. It's just like apple cider vinegar and sugar and other stuff. So this is the one with mayo. I'm gonna try this. And then I have another half a bun that I'm gonna try with the um, apple cider type um, coleslaw. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's delicious. This is delicious. Yeah, I love it. Definitely, definitely mm. a contender. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing is, I want to add a bit more sweet. Well, maybe if I try the other one, but I want the um, coleslaw to really pop, but it tastes really good. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm back. This time with the vinegar coleslaw. Definitely the vinegar coleslaw over the mayo coleslaw. Mm -hmm. Jordan tax. Run. Come up, man. <laughs> Love that. Love that. So I'm back with the third selection. It doesn't look the cutest right now, but. Tomorrow when I do photo shoots and all that, I'm just trying to try it to, just to see how yummy it will be. So this is the mac and cheese with, um, with oxtail on top. Can I, I mean, it tastes delicious. <laughs> that wasn't a hard one. It really does, oh my God. Mm. That's awesome. That's bursting. Easily hands down, delicious. Now, I saw online they're making the cheese sauce. It was just cream and the cheese. Mm -hmm. I tried that, but I only had milk. So it didn't really, it wasn't like a smooth, creamy mixture, right? So since we're using milk, what I would have to do is like make, the, make a roux with the butter and the flour first, and then add the cheese, so it's like a cream cheese sauce, you know? But I was hoping that we could just use the milk and the cheese together, but and cheese separates too much in the milk without without like that base so that's what we're going to be doing so this is definitely delicious mm -hmm. guys we need to comment until i'm about to stop being fussy you're not fussy ah mm -hmm. damn this is really a delicacy Hi, so it's me and my two sons. I can't believe I'm saying that. I have two sons so that crazy. are ready to spin a block. <laughs> the There's the other one. Say hi, Papa. 
how cute are it? Wow, it was pretty, oh, it's pretty bounced, pretty bumpy back here. So I'm on my way to um, get a few things on the street. I need to get Jordan some shoes. Um, he's been rocking his Jordans that he got from Toronto and they're on their last leg of life. Like, they getting busted. So I'm thinking, let me preserve those for a special occasion maybe. And just get him some beaters to beat around in for school. Um, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna get him some shoes while we're outside. Um, there's something else I'm getting. Oh, night lights and lamps. I need a night light slash lamp for everybody's room because everyone's afraid of the dark. <laughs> Jordan's like, yes, I am. Oh man. I'd rather man. shoot the light than put. Huh? I'd rather shoot the light than him jump. Yeah. Okay. So you're not afraid of the dark per se, right? No. I just you just don't like to sleep in the in the dark. No. Yeah. All right. Fine. That is fine. So yeah, I'm just on my way out to do those few things. I also want to say that I actually feel a bit weird. Um, I feel like weak. It's just weird. Like I've been feeling really weak. I don't know if it's because I'm just tired. As I was saying to you guys, I'm just exhausted from being a new mom. But still being like up and running like 100 so i just feel like this fatigue in my body like it's a fatigue like my muscles feel worn out like i've been working out but obviously i haven't so i don't know if it's i'm not i don't know if it is just that i'm maybe nutrient deficient you know or do i need more sleep or i don't know so i'm getting my tooth pulled out not today which is Tuesday I'm gonna get it done on Thursday and maybe it's the tooth maybe the tooth is like getting to me I don't really know so I'm hoping I'll feel better also comment down below yeah my camera just died on me so um I don't know what it is I'm hoping it's my tooth okay so I do not want to take antibiotics because normally when you remove your tooth I believe they give you a round of antibiotics to prevent I'm getting my far back tooth oh that one yeah so I don't, yes, no, it's a wisdom tooth. So I don't want to um, take antibiotics, but is there some other thing I can do? You know what I mean? Because obviously it's an open wound in your mouth and you're going to eat. You don't want it to get infected. So I'm just trying to figure out if there's some other way to, you know, keep it um, clean while it heals. I'm thinking oil of oregano because it's an anti, anti um, not biotic, anti-fungal type of solution with coconut oil or something like that i don't know so comment down below if you guys have any suggestions about that i'm also going to do some research as well yeah so anyway let me see you guys when i get to wherever okay bye bye saying hi to the baby what's the baby saying say hi baby hi baby hi hi auntie boba hi. <laughs> so, so this is her place She's not the daddy, she's the mommy of the daddy boba. Daddy boba. <laughs> Busy as usual. Breaking that Monday. Right? Cashing and out. then Crazy Burger is in there. Right there. What's yeah. That? Get Crazy Burger. And Bop Bop is just bubble like. Bubble. Hi. One day you're going to end up like these crazy girls. <laughs> you're going to end up like that. Crazy gigs. I can wait. I can wait. He looks so calm. He is so oh, good. Baby, you wanna go home with Auntie? Alright, let's go. <laughs> I don't have boobies, but I think I've got four millimeters. Good luck. Good luck. No, thank you. <laughs> they use something like this. It didn't go like that. Okay, so this. Do you have smaller um, lamps? Yeah, there's a small one I showed you. So you don't have any like simple ones, like for kids, like the I basic ones? Oh, yeah, of the lamp. Yeah. So do you have the. The one for kids. Okay. What about? So I'm in this um light store. I'm trying to get a halogen bulb. I don't want LED or the new computer stuff. I want the old bulbs, the ones that get hot. So that's what I'm getting right now. So this one. So this is the halogen. Um, what watt is this one? Oh, actually, it says 60. So I think I want like a. I think I want like a 10 watt. 20. So what's the lowest you have in the halogen? 
40. Okay, then. So give me one. It's like 30. Five CDs. So this is forty. Is it warm or white? It's not white. It's not white. Is it because it's halogen? Halogen. Halogen is just this color. Okay. Yeah. So. So I'm back home with my bulb. That place was kind of expensive. So I'm gonna to try to find another place to get some like side table lamps, which I need because I feel like my tables are kind of bare. I don't know. But this is a halogen bulb. So the specific reason I want a halogen bulb, I do not want LED. I find LED like gives me a headache and it's just unnatural light. Like it's unnatural. It's like bounced around light. It's not good for you. So I can't really change. No, I can, but I'm not gonna change every bulb in the house. So for my room, I got this bulb. So I can just put it in my, um. My little stand here, and I can use this instead at night. During the day, I use um, the sun. I open the windows, and the sun is good enough. But at night, I don't want to use these lights. Oh my god! Oh, oh! Wow! Here we are. So this is just right for what I want it for. I feel like I should maybe put it on an angle, kind of, something like this. Because I feel like it bumped my head. So if I put it over this, yeah, perfect. On and off. Yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. So I told you guys, I still gotta get some material. So probably in the morning, I'm gonna get material for my headboard so that I can have a normal headboard. It's looking a little, it's looking a little weak and all that. Anyway, this is the end of the vlog. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck on my tooth appointment. And I got my colonic tomorrow. I'll record it and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Hopefully it will um, help, you know what I mean? Like getting the toxins out will just contribute to like my healing, my healing journey. So basically, that's it. Period. <laughs> uh, I wanna see you guys tomorrow. Love you, bye.